the world's largest and most powerful rocket. That's the title we all admit when talking about Starship, the rocket produced by SpaceX. With a height of 120 meters and a width of 9 meters, it is easy to understand why it is called the largest rocket in the world. But to be called the most powerful rocket, the Raptor engine is the factor that plays the most important role. As the aerospace industry develops, the appearance of new engines is a very normal thing. But perhaps not many of them can develop for a long time and create impressions like the Raptor engine. Design, thrust, pressure, mass, and more. Everything is constantly improving and blowing the limits we can think of. So how did SpaceX's engine develop to become as powerful as it is today? Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. In general, all of SpaceX's design processes and operations are based on the five golden steps set by Elon Musk, with the goal of making everything faster, simpler, and more efficient. Raptor Engine is no exception. We can easily recognize that when looking at how SpaceX developed their Raptor Engine from the previous version, Raptor 1 to the current version, Raptor 2, and the future version, Raptor 3. The Raptor 1 is the first version of the switch to using Methalox fuel engines instead of liquid oxygen and RP-1 kerosene-like the Merlin engines used by the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The advantage of methane is easier to produce, store, and burn more cleanly and efficiently than kerosene and is more suitable for missions like Mars. Compared to the Merlin engine, the Raptor engine used a full-flow staged combustion cycle improved from the open-cycle gas generator system to help increase performance and optimize fuel. The Raptor also used a large number of coaxial swirl injectors instead of pintle injectors. Applied dual-redundant spark plug-lit torch igniters and engine materials and manufacturing technology were also improved. Thanks to that, the Raptor engine can increase thrust to 185 tons, twice the thrust of the Merlin engine, and the chamber pressure is also three times greater than the Merlin even though the two engines have similar sizes. In 2019, Elon Musk announced the test results of the Raptor engine, with a chamber pressure of up to 268.9 bar, breaking the record held for decades by Russia's RD-180. The Raptor 1 version was produced and fully tested from February 2018 to July 2021. During that time, a new Raptor version was designed. By the end of 2021, this version began production and completely replaced Raptor 1. That is the Raptor 2 that SpaceX is using in the current Starship. Raptor 2 is a completely redesigned version compared to Raptor 1. When we put them next to each other, it is easy to see that Raptor 2 looks simpler, neater, and much lesser wiring system than its predecessor. This is because the turbo machinery, chamber, nozzle, sensors, and electronics were all redesigned or removed, and many flanges were converted to welds, while other parts like dual redundant spark plug lit torch igniters were simply replaced by a secret ignition. With structural simplification, Raptor 2 will reduce complex components and structures, making it lighter than the previous version, with a weight of 1.6 tons compared to 2 tons of Raptor 1. Thanks to that, Raptor 2 can be produced easier, faster, and cheaper than Raptor 1. Despite removing many components, with the new design, Raptor 2 is 25% more powerful than Raptor 1 achieving thrust of up to 230 tons with chamber pressure of up to 300 bar. With 33 engines and booster, Starship will achieve 7,590 tons or 16.8 million pounds of thrust. However, Raptor continues to have changes and upgrades, especially in the past few months. That's because it still encountered some problems during its first orbital test flight. Specifically, when this flight liftoff, a few engines were not activated. During the flight, we saw some other engines that were also shut down. After the flight, SpaceX confirmed the failure came from the ignition, hydraulic power unit system, nozzle, and manifold system. After that, SpaceX made the necessary upgrades. They reinforced the nozzle and manifold system to help it withstand the extremely high temperature and pressure when the engine is activated, preventing fuel from leaking. The hydraulic power unit system was also replaced by the new electric TVC system and the ignition was also upgraded to increase reliability for activating and maintaining the engine, avoiding failure of not activating or stopping working during flight. Perhaps it will have many other upgrades in the future, even after Starship is successfully launched. 
but compared to other engines, it can be said that Raptor 2 can still be considered one of the best engines today, a standard that other engines want to aim for. The title of the most powerful rocket for Starship is the most convincing evidence to prove Raptor 2's capabilities. But strides will not stop there. While companies are struggling to find ways to beat Raptor 2, SpaceX is creating a more formidable engine version, Raptor 3. In May, SpaceX conducted a test with this new engine version and showed amazing data. The first stride is about thrust. The Raptor 3 engine generated up to 269 tons of thrust, 18% more powerful than the Raptor 2. It will also have a chamber pressure of 350 bar, a record that no other current engine can reach. In terms of mass, the engine is also lighter than previous versions at only about 1,4 tons. Currently, Super Heavy Booster uses 33 engines. If SpaceX transfers from Raptor 2 to Raptor 3, it will reach 8,877 tons or 19.5 million pounds of thrust. If successfully launched, it will certainly extinguish all hopes of competitors that have always had ambitions of defeating SpaceX's Raptor engines. While old engines with powerful thrusts like the RD-1A80 gradually lose the playground, other competitors certainly cannot compare with the Raptor 3. There will be no engine more worthy than it to inherit the title of Emperor of the engine after the era of the legendary F-1 engine. Besides upgrades related to power, SpaceX also continuously accelerated their engine production pace throughout Raptor's development. In the first period, from February 2018 to 2021, about 36 months, SpaceX produced 100 Raptor 1 engines, meaning they would produce one engine every 11 days. However, when switching to the Raptor 2 version, that speed has been significantly increased. In 2021, Elon Musk revealed they can produce one engine every 48 hours. Perhaps that revelation is not an exaggeration. Raptor 2 started production at the end of 2021, and after only about 11 to 12 months last November, SpaceX posted a photo of the 200th Raptor engine they completed. Also, by the end of last year, NASA confirmed that it only took SpaceX 24 hours to produce an engine. Since then, after a year, the number of their engines seems to have doubled. Specifically on October 31st, Deputy Administrator of NASA, Pamela Melroy posted a photo of her visit to SpaceX's Starbase. In the picture, she stands next to the Raptor engines. If we look closely at the far end of the picture, there is an engine with the number 398. That means SpaceX has produced close to 400 Raptor engines or more at the moment. But that certainly will not be the final goal of SpaceX. They will continue to accelerate even more strongly. You know, each Starship prototype will use 39 engines. With 33 engines in Super Heavy and 6 engines in Spacecraft, the future could be 42. If the spacecraft increases from 6 to 9 engines, 400 engines may sound like a lot, but it only takes about 10 prototypes to use them all. Meanwhile, Elon Musk's goal is to launch thousands of rockets every year in the future. Therefore, the number of engines needed will be many times more than the current number. That means the frequency of engine production will be greatly increased. It can be said that Raptor is like a miniature version of SpaceX. Simpler to be stronger sounds easy, but honestly, it's extremely difficult to do because that is the unique formula to create success for the world's largest aerospace company, SpaceX. Based on that formula, Raptor engines are reaching unbelievable limits in the aerospace industry. We have all witnessed how the Raptor operates in previous flights, but perhaps those performances are not enough to satisfy our expectations. Hopefully on the next flight, Starship as well as the Raptor engine will have a complete and successful performance to help us explode with emotions after many days of waiting. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.